we get into the song, I just want to say that I find this part of the running order so confusing because I don't understand why they put Poland and Montenegro together, but whatever. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's weird because, like, I do think that this is a very well done song. It's, you know, classic Balkan ballad and... You know, the song clearly means a lot to her because it's about her mother who sadly passed away during the pandemic, which, you know, I'm sure... Well, I I thankfully never lost any relatives to the virus, but obviously a lot of people will obviously relate to that. And um, it's, it's weird because it's just kind of like... like it's a very well done song and Vladana like sings it beautifully but it's just like I'm with this semi like I'm worried that this is going to get edged out and like I hope I'm wrong <coughs> excuse me um it's just yeah it's just really difficult because yeah, I'm worried that this is going to be one of those like high quality songs that we're going to lose just because the semi is so strong. I mean, I mean, I'm personally like I like the song, but I'm not like amazed by it. But like I do see like the potential in it, kind of thing, and it's just kind of like. Oh, it's just like oh, it would be such a shame for them to make such an effort and still not make it. And it's just yeah, yeah. It would be. I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, this is yeah, it's quite difficult. Uh, this one to predict. So yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Oh, Kylie, I quite agree with you. I'm sort of um, you know, same type of feeling as you. I. I do enjoy it. I love a Balkan ballad. I really, really do. I sort of wish it was in Montenegro because I feel like maybe uh, Vladana could promote, could, um, I don't know, maybe feel a bit more, per it may feel a bit more personal to her as how how wonderful, me how much of a wonderful emotional and um, important message that she wants to convey to the rest of uh, Europe and Australia. Uh so I f I feel like maybe um, it could have been it could have been in Montenegro, and I feel like it might have stood out more maybe. But then we're just we're we are English speakers, so um, you know I think we'd like to hear that anyway. Personally, um, hearing different languages, but still um, it's a strong song, and um, obviously Fadana's wrote it with um, Darko Darko um and he's written many of songs for uh north macedonia albania and serbia and uh, now montenegro um in the past so he's got a quite good track record um and uh i would like to think that um this collaboration between the pair of them is going to be um work well for them though again I do worry about Montenegro's chances. Um, it was, it's bizarre that Poland and Montenegro being together. I think that's really weird, um, and I don't get it. Uh, but, uh, so that's just typical, really, um, of how it goes sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I, I like it, but I'm not enamoured with it. I don't go out to seek the mm. song, necessarily. You know, if it's playing, I won't skip it. But it's just one of those average songs to me in a competitive environment. Um, it all it almost feels like it's going to come down to that performance, really, and how it's portrayed on the stage. I just wish Montenegro the best because it's nice to have them back um, after a few years away. <laughs> Yeah, you mentioned uh, Darko Dimitrov, uh, Kieran. He just had a couple of big successes in Eurovision with Proud and yes. also Loco Loco. <laughs> so, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so if the team can recreate some of the magic, particularly from Proud, um, then I can see a path 
for them to the final. Now, even before you take the songs into account, Montenegro is probably the country that I would most like to see qualified because they haven't been in the final since Knez in 2015. Oh my God, that oh. long? That long. Oh my and, God. Um, yeah, um, of, of the songs, of the countries that are in this year, they've been waiting the longest. Oh. Um, now, if they can get, if they can find a beautiful staging, then I can see a path to the final for them. Otherwise, I'm struggling slightly. Yeah. For the reasons that you've already said, just because it's a competitive semi-final. Yeah, and looking at their voting, um, you know, almost certified points to come their way. Serbia, North Macedonia. Um, yeah, I, I'm struggling other than those two countries to find out where on earth that any other points might come from, which is a shame. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to they're gonna have to impress those juries much like um, Tamara did with Proud. I yeah. Think. Definitely. Okay. Anything else on Montenegro before we give it a score? Not really. Okay. So I'm going to give this a three. Yeah. I'll also give them a three. And a three, two for me. And the public also give it a three out of five. 